What's going on guys, Jack Tracy here. So last week we talked about what macros actually are. This week we're going to talk about how to calculate your macros for your health and fitness needs. So macros 101, the topics we're going to touch on are calories, how to calculate your macros, your weigh-ins and how to keep track of your progress. Okay, so we're going to start off with calories. We're going to use client A as an example here. So Client A is 6 foot, is 200 pounds and he's between 20 and 25% body fat. Okay, so this here is going to be our scale. It's going to be for our dieting calories, maintenance calories and bulking calories. We're not going to worry about that because that's another topic for another video. Okay, so the formula we're going to use, we're going to take our body weight, multiply it by our physical activity scale and that's going to give us our maintenance calories. Physical activity scale, that's between 14 and 16, that depends on what they are doing throughout the day, whether they sit at a desk job or whether, whether they're out laboring all day. Okay, so client A, we're going to multiply 200 pounds by 14. We're just going to assume the client A isn't that physically active at the moment, he's a desk job and he's kind of new to training. So we're going to multiply 200 by 14, that gives us 2,800 calories per day. That's his maintenance calories to maintain his current weight. What we're going to do then is subtract 500 to get 2,300, that's going to be his diet and calories. So now we can move on to work out how to break down his fat intake, protein intake and carb intake. Okay, so calculating our macros, we're going to start off with protein. The formula we're going to use is our body weight multiplied between a scale of 0.75 to 1.25 grams per pound. So this is our scale we're going to use. 0.75 would be if somebody's excess body fat, they've not much muscle, their first time training, they're overweight, obese possibly, and they've made some unhealthy lifestyle choices. So number one being someone who's fit and healthy, they're below 20% body fat, their abs are visible but they're not quite there, and then 1.25, that would be like the likes of your show prep clients, someone who's training a lot, doing a lot of cardio, and then the key feature is they are absolutely shredded, so they're below 10% body fat. Okay, so moving on to our fat, the formula we're going to use again is our body weight multiplied between 0.3 and 0.4. The scale, this scale we're going to use, 0.3 would be for an individual who likes a lower fat or a high carb diet. 0.35 being for somebody who doesn't really matter where they get the energy from, there's no real preference between carbs or fats. And then 0.4, that would be for somebody who enjoys a lower carb diet but enjoys foods such as their nuts, seeds and avocado. Okay, so we're going to take 200 pounds, multiply by 0.3 because our client likes a higher carb diet with less fat. That's going to give us 60 grams of fat per day. That's how much fat they're going to consume while they're on their diet. Okay, so moving on on how to calculate our macros for our carbs. Now remember, at the start of the video, we worked out our client A's diet and calories, which were 2,300 calories. If you remember from last week's video, there was 4 calories per gram of protein, 4 calories per gram of carbs, and 9 calories per gram of fat. So, let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 200 grams of protein, multiply that by 4, that's going to give us 800 calories of protein. We're going to take our 60 grams of fat, multiply that by 9, that's going to give us 540 calories of fat. Then what we're going to do is add these numbers together, that's going to give us 1340 calories. So moving on to our carbs, so in order to find our carb macro breakdown, we're going to take our diet and calories, which is 2300 and subtract 1340 calories of protein and fat. This gives us 960 calories of carbs. Now remember, 4 calories per gram of carbs, divide 960 by 4, that gives you 240 grams of carbs per day. Okay, so later on to our micro breakdown for our client A. The protein is going to be 200 grams of protein per day, their carbohydrate is going to be 240 grams per day and their fat is going to be 60 grams per day. So now we're getting somewhere. Okay so moving on to weigh-ins and progress. Okay for weight loss for males I'd recommend 
one to two pounds per week. For females, I'd recommend 1.5 to 1.5 pounds per week lost. Okay, so when it comes to tracking your weight loss, I'd recommend that you weigh yourself every single morning after you've used the bathroom. I would take a weekly average of each weight and then I would assess the situation. So seeing you're taking an average, you more or less add up every single weight of every single morning and then divide that number by seven. That's gonna give you your average. Okay, so let's say for example, client A and his average weekly wins. So week one, he's down to 198 pounds, so he's lost two pounds in that week. Week two, he's down to 197 pounds, which means he's lost one pound. And then week three, He's down to 196.6 pounds, which means he's only lost 0.4 pounds. So now it's time to change something. So option one, you can either add on some cardio, which is probably the most healthiest option, or option two, which I highly recommend you wouldn't do, is to decrease calories. Personally, because you'd rather eat more and just move more, as opposed to eating less, moving the same amount, and then potentially having to increase your cardio once you had an R plateau. Okay, so that was just a quick video on the basics of how to break down your macros. I uh, hope that helped you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if there was anything you thought I could have improved on, anything at all, criticism, anything, just leave a comment below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.